Yes guys, what's cracking? Rushi S here, the Jump Rope Coach, back with another one of the Jump Rope Chronicles. You've just seen what the side swing is, what move we're trying to carry out. Here's a clip of Floyd doing them in three, two, Right guys, so you've just seen that clip. Super slick, super quick by the money man, the undefeated champion. And if you stay tuned in the next clip, I'm gonna be showing you just exactly how to do them the right way, the slick way, and make your jump rope routines look epic. So stay tuned for the next clip, and let's get into it. Boom. Right guys, so it's the first commentary of this series. I've structured the video in such a way that if you just follow these tips coming up, you'll be jumping like the money man in no time. So the first tip being footwork and timing. Just a word to mention really on Floyd's footwork. With each side swing, he's always hopping a couple of inches, couple of centimeters off the floor on each leg. Get this incorporated to help them looking slick and uh, just improve coordination in general. Another point to mention is just to keep the wrists nice and close together and get them turning over. A lot of people tend to do side swings by keeping the wrists far apart. It just doesn't look good um, and they can't do it with speed. So keep that in mind. The third point coming up, in just a moment yes is to find your dominant hand my dominant hand is my left hand so you'll always notice the left hand is always on top of the right so i will tend to side swing to my left then to my right and then i'll open the rope so you'll see this in a couple of more slow motions coming up shortly Right, so here's another little variation of the move. It's called side swing with twists. Um, Floyd does tend to do these now and then, but I wouldn't say it's very common in his routines. But I've thrown it in there anyway, just so you can have a look and also possibly try and throw them in your routines. All you're gonna simply do is with each side swing, um, so if we swing to our right first, you're gonna simply twist your knees to the left. And then when you swing to your left-hand side, you just kind of shift your knees to the right-hand side. So they're just going in opposite directions. You're kind of unscrewing and screwing kind of your core great little move to attack the obliques and also make your jump routines uh, look quite slick and just um yeah keep them flowing quite nicely as you can see here with uh kind of my incorporation of the transitional element of side swings what we're really doing here what i'm trying to focus in on whilst i do double unders crosses footwork um is kind of just throwing the side swings in between each move so it's just a nice kind of way of breaking up each element of the double unders, the crossovers, just a way of linking the moves nicely together. In this slow motion, all I'm simply doing again is focusing on my footwork. Um, I'm going into a cross actually with each side swing. So you can see as I swing to my right hand side, I then go into a cross and vice versa on the left hand side. Again, another little variation that you can throw in. And you can see here again, um, another way of again linking moves together. You've got double unders, into side swings, into crossovers. Just a nice way of kind of keep the routine looking like a Mayweather style routine. Um, he loves to throw in side swings in between double under crossovers with the double unders, with the general crossover, run, skip, etc. Um, a brilliant move, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, try and rewind, go through it again, look at the slow motions, check the techniques, check the form. Remember, it's all about the wrist turning over, keep them close together. I hope you like this commentary. It's my first one of the series. Give me some feedback, um, comment below, and as always, appreciate the love and support. Peace.